Has it ever occurred to you that when it comes to the pinch, often the greatest entertainers are quite ordinary people who've never been on a stage before? To illustrate our point, we go now to a holiday camp at Clacton and at the same time introduce a new sport, pram racing, which, as you can see, has its share of hazards for the inexperienced. The point we're making is that even at holiday camps where everything is so well organized for you, it's often the campers themselves who provide the fun. Take pram racing now. You won't find it in any of the sporting handbooks, but it has all the thrills, spills and entertainment of the better known events. In fact, at this makeshift race course, the only thing missing is the bookies enclosure. No sign of big race nerves, they're away first time. In every case, you'll notice it's a man doing all the hard work, while the so-called weaker sex takes it easy. In fact, there's nothing in the rules that says that women shouldn't push, but of course, very conveniently, it never occurs to them. Still, it's certainly faster and a lot less dangerous this way. Two laps of the 200 yards track is a lot more strenuous than you might think especially to chaps who only do a few minutes training a day, catching the early morning train. However, as the climax of the race approaches, the women competitors have to do their share. Hitherto, they've been playing at being babies, now they have to act like them. Each one has to drink a full bottle of milk. It doesn't follow, of course, that the girl with the most exercised mouthpiece always wins, but one thing is certain. As horse racing is known as the sport of kings, we're surely justified in naming pram racing the sport of babes in every sense. <laughs>